Big Trouble with Simple Machines by Nathan Schreiber. The holograms are flickering off and on. Look, that cloud looks like some kind of circuit. And that moon is some kind of fan. And that stack of pancakes is really a wall. She's still breathing, but she's unconscious. What are we going to do? There's no time for a cat nap. The next challenge will really pull your fur. I guess there's nowhere to go but up. We're impressed so far, but your toughest, toughest challenge is still ahead. Chapter 6. Pulled Apart we're here. I'm so hungry I can't even think. How do we figure out this puzzle without Eureka? Don't count us out yet. We probably just have to move this block. Ugh, what's in those chests? There's 40 big hard screws, two big screwdrivers, a long steel cable, and a bunch of these wheelie thingies. Those are pulleys. If we attach a pulley to the ceiling and attach the cable to the load, we could run the cable through the pulley and use our weight to lift it up. But we're not heavy enough. How do we get up to the ceiling anyway? Ugh, forget it! We're just not smart enough to figure it out! Fermi's probably not even unconscious. She's just laughing at how stupid we are! May, look! If I pick up Eureka with one arm, she's pretty heavy. But if I pick her up with both arms, it's easier. Okay. Well, what if I had six arms? She'd be even easier to lift. But you don't have six arms. If we attach a cable and eight pulleys each to both the ceiling and the block, we can pull the cable through all the pulleys. When we pull down, all 16 lines of cable share the weight. It's like lifting the block with 16 arms. <sighs> We'd have to pull the rope 16 times as far. But that's how mechanical advantage works. The machine helps out over a longer distance and we need less force. Lifting up block directly, lifting up block with pulley. Still don't know how we get up to the ceiling. Leave that to me. Time for some old school ninja business. Grab that end. I'll take the ceiling, you take the block. Okie dokie. We are sorry. Uh, May? I'm just about done. What's up? Hey! That's my friend! We are sorry. May, you lifted the block! Carlos! Your idea worked, Carlos, but what about the other robots? No worries. They all just started suddenly snoozing. So this staircase was under the block the whole time? Congratulations. 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 Hey, she's waking up. Whoa, what's going on? We got sandwiches. Want one? Just so you know, you're paying for all this. And Carlos got like eight coconut waters. It's good. How'd you get through the rest of the trials? Piece of cake. And frankly, a lot easier without you explaining everything every ten seconds. Every part of me hurts. Yeah, we got our butts kicked. Wait, what about the Nova battery? This thing in the glowing treasure chest? Whatever. Take it. I should have kept my axe. Freeze! Shogun, we found both GMHs. As suspected, they're with Dr. Fermi. <laughs> well, well, Dr. Dr. Fermi, by now you've probably figured out there is no Julie Jewels, Jewels or Nova Battery. The, the lab you navigated, navigated is actually a science and just training exercise. exercise. Looks, Looks like you passed. passed. And I mean passed the way a C-minus passes. Perhaps I overestimated you. 
Dr. Tox, escort the cadets back to campus. Make sure they're appropriately punished for violating curfew. Shogun, permission to speak. Granted. Cadets Wu and Einstein were just following my orders. I take full responsibility for their blown curfew and will escort them back to the academy. Very well. You're temporarily demoted. Escort the GMHs back to campus and stay there. You're training with the cadets for two weeks. Fifty sandwiches later. Thanks for sticking your neck out for us. It's like Carlos said, we gotta be each other's simple machines and help each other out. Yep, that's how to maximize the friendship advantage. Friends plus fours times distance equals work plus fun. I think it was a little more poetic than that. With all due respect, you were too easy on them, Shogun. Afraid I'm going soft? It wasn't even a real treasure. It was still fun. Dr. Dr. Fermi managed to fully utilize the abilities of those GMH assets. No one's been able to do that, even her commanders. So they might not be your commanders for very long. Want to stay in our dorm room for the next two weeks? Is that okay with you, May? You'll have to share Carlos's bed. And he farts in his sleep. I can sleep on the floor. We'll work it out. Only an hour till morning drills. Can we get more sandwiches?